Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a drugstore cruelty free glam makeup look for you guys. I am so excited and I know you guys are going to absolutely love this look. I am trying quite a few new products as well, so oh, it's going to be good fun. So before we start, because I know quite a few are going to ask me, yes, I am wearing a wig. This wig is from Eva Hair. Oh my gosh, it is hmm, so soft. I am coming out with a tutorial on how to apply wigs and how to get the best result and make them look natural and everything like that. But if you guys are wanting to get your hands on this wig, this is their, just looking, this is their Rogue Pink Angled Cut Wig. It is currently on sale. I will have the direct link in the description box below. And Eva Hair was so generous to give you guys a 15% off coupon code if you use the code Jade. Yes! <laughs> so, um, Let's get right into the tutorial. <laughs> All right, so to start off with, I have applied a little bit of the designer brands Paw Paw Plus over my face, not everywhere, but obviously I've applied it on my lips, a little bit on my nose and just around my eye area, just because my skin has been getting really, really dry and just kind of flaky lately. So I thought that might help. So for my primer today, I'm going to use my Astralis Midas Touch Primer. Oh, this is like very quickly becoming my new favorite primer. Okay, moving on to foundation. I've literally just gone out to Priceline and Kmart and bought some new products because I realized like I don't actually own a eyeshadow palette that's a drugstore one. I was like, geez, that is crap. So I went out and got some few, a few goodies and oh, oh, I can't wait to like use some of the products I got because they look amazing. So for my foundation today, um, I have used this in the past. I actually do have a review of this up. This is the Models Prefer Argan Infusion Natural Foundation. Because my skin has been more on the dry side, this one is quite hydrating without it slipping and sliding and it just, I don't know, it's really, really nice and just a beautiful product to use. So... And I think it retails for about $16, something like that. So bonus. <laughs> so for my brows today, I'm going to use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pro Made. This is in the shade Brunette. I am going to use my Furless PPM2 Angled Brush to apply this. I do have a link for the Furless brushes, which I've been using them for years. I'll have it in the description box below for you guys. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be a good prep bow, bow, a good bow product, a good brow product or not, but we'll see. I haven't used it before. So I'm just gonna go through that with my Furless Pro 1E. <laughs> It does seem to be quite a kind of slippery product, so I'm not sure in terms of longevity how it's going to work, but oh well, we'll see, we'll see. So moving on to eyeshadow, I'm so excited. I went to Kmart and I just purchased this palette. This is the Berries by BYS. I've actually seen some amazing comparisons between this and the Anastasia uh, Modern... Renee, Renee, Renee. I can't talk. Renaissance. Renaissance. I can't even say that word. Oh my gosh. It's just me today. That palette. This is pretty much an identical dupe. I don't have the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I would love to have it. So I can't really do a comparison, but I have seen side by side swatches and it looks amazing. Amazing. So this is it here. Mm. Oh, 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 oh man. So I'm gonna go in with Peachy and do a wash of that all over my lid. So I'm going in with this angled eyeshadow brush by Thurless. I've literally had this brush for so long that the number's worn off, so I have no idea what it is. But it's like six years old and still going strong. <laughs> and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Hey, that's better. Man, this seems really pigmented. The next shade I'm going to use is Sundown. Going in with a fluffier furless brush and I'm going to just apply this in the crease. I don't want a whole lot, just a tiny bit. Next I'm going to go in with Antique, just in the outer portion. Wipe off any excess off my brush and just go to town blurring those colors out. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with Royalty. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Pro 3M from Furless. It's just a domed eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna go in with Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb! So, mainly in the outer corner, I wanna start building up some of this. Then go in with a clean brush, this is the Furless ME3. And it's just nice and fluffy. And I'm just gonna really soften and blend that out. And then dip in a little bit of the Majestic. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Royalty color along my lower lash line and then some of the cherry bomb as well I'm going to use my NYX epic black mousse liner and I'm gonna apply it with my pro 6m fairless brush so I'm mainly just gonna focus on the lower lash line to start off with so just mainly on my waterline and then what you can do is blink your eyes screw them shut and it kind of transfers that to your top lash line but because my top lashes are so sparse I'm also going to just work this in well with my lash line so just keeping my eyes closed just working that in well I'm not doing like a definite line on my lid I am just using this because it's going to make my eyes seem a lot more intense without actually having that visible line so for lashes today I have these body tools lashes okay so while that glue is drying before we do anything else I'm going to do some concealing so I'm going to use my NYX dark circle concealer you can tell I've used this product a lot this is in the shade fail and I'm just going to apply this I think this is an actual eyeshadow brush by Arbon but I'm going to use that to apply it and I'm also going to layer that with a, another concealer because two is better than one I'm going to use my elf HD concealer in light and this is actually so much smaller than what I thought it would be it came in this massive box so I kind of thought oh you know it's going to be like a full size and then it's just this tiny little thing but oh well I hope it's amazing. So back to my eyes, I'm gonna firstly curl my lashes and one of my lashes is already starting to lift. Oh, damn you. Hopefully, once I put mascara on, it will be okay. So I'm gonna use the Essence Rock and Doll Mascara in with those eyeshadows and just finish that all up so I'm gonna set all this with my physician's formula mineral airbrushing pressed powder on to the good stuff I am going in with another physician's formula this is their light bronze pearl and I'm just gonna warm up my face using a really really big fluffy fearless brush this is a BC one it is massive but I just want just a really soft wash of like bronze over my face. Moving on to contouring, the good old faithful NYX eyeshadow in taupe. And it keeps shattering on me. Um, I'm gonna go in with this Nude by Nature brush as well. Nose contouring, I'm gonna use my NYX Conceal Correct palette. Going with the darker shade, I have seen a new form of nose contouring or just a new style. So I thought I would give it a crack. I've never ever done it before. This could be a massive fail, <sighs> but uh, I don't know. <laughs> so the way I saw it was a little circle at the end of the nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then the lines. And my lines are so wonky right now. <laughs> oh gosh. And I'm gonna go over the top with the same NYX eyeshadow. I'll leave that before it gets too messy. <sighs> so blush today, I'm gonna to use my Australis Paparazzi Perfect Blush in Poser. It's just quite a, a neutral shade. I think that's too pink or heavy because we've got the so much color with the eyes. <laughs> I'm going to use my matte 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 02 shade by Essence. Just a nice nude natural color and I've been loving glossy lips at the moment. 
So I did just buy the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Bright On. And then the last finishing touch, I'm so excited to use this. I did a swatch of it, like I, you know, went to Kmart, went to Priceline, bought my stuff. I'm like, oh, I've spent enough money. And at the counter, I saw this and there was a sample and I did a swatch and I was like, oh, I have to buy it. Um, so I have no idea if it's gonna look as good on the face as it looked as a swatch, but this is the Models Prefer Mineral Touch Soft, Mineral Powder Soft Touch Rainbow Highlighter. I'm just gonna apply it with a fearless like foundation brush just cause I like the density of it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, that was one swipe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna do some on top of my brows and then on my nose, tip of the nose, down the center. I am impressed with that, that is amazing. <gasps> look at that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so here you have the finished look, 100% drugstore, cruelty-free products that you guys can get at Priceline or Kmart, because that's where I got them from. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what kind of other videos you would like to see from me in the future. Leave a comment below. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Every day is just another day You should be spending with me And baby, you should find a way Stay at night, I promise you'd want to stay I tell them that your man don't know